All right, because I have so many packages coming in, I had to call it an emergency haul video today. <laughs> uh, I wasn't gonna wait for the next scheduled one. Um, this is all BrickLink. This is pretty much one GVC module, but there's some extras. Um, more BrickLink GVC parts mostly. Uh, foreshadowing for a future video. Uh, ignore the part of the mess. Uh, this is the rest of my Lego order, the ones that were not best sellers, so they take a little longer to get here. And then uh, this is a new set from Amazon. Uh, but I need to get all this opened up so I can use the parts. So let's get to it. All right, to start, I'm going to open this biggest one first just because it's, it's a new set. So there's not as much to say about this. Um, I lost my knife. <laughs> it's, it's probably upstairs somewhere. All right, there we go. There, he called out a knife. At least it's packed well. I mean, Lego could learn a thing or two from... Well, Amazon doesn't always <laughs> pack this well. Oh, okay. Get this box out of the way. And there it is. I had thought about, you know, picking up one or two of these at different times. Uh, I think they're generally about $20 each. And as I'm building all these GBC modules, um, I always... You know, I'm, I'm looking for a specific part. So I'll look on BrickLink and see what sets they were in. And these have come up quite a bit. So I'm like, I, you know what, just, just get them. And then I looked on Amazon and I was able to get all four of them for, you know, actually I don't remember how much they cost. I'll have to put it on screen, um, but it, it's a decent deal to get all four of them. It's a lot cheaper than buying them individually. Um, I'll miss out on VIP points, but I'm not really that worried about it. Um, so yeah, I think these will be fun to put together. So I went ahead and threw that on. And like I said, I, I have just so many parts coming in. It's getting crazy. Um, I actually just <laughs> last week just took a picture. Um, this is <laughs> uh, some parts I got. I don't have time to do a video. <laughs> like, it just comes in, in waves, you know. Um, but I, I still have such a backlog of some really cool used stuff that I want to get to. Um, that That's why I'm, I'm doing this today. Uh, I think most of these parts are pretty random. Okay. Um, these are pretty much all in the bag. That's fine. Um, I've started telling people, like, you don't need to separate new and used. I don't care. It's just going to modules. Um, so these were just some tiles and just random parts um they didn't really have that many individual items so a lot of these i just cleared out their the drawers for them um stuff that i could use um this is base. this is just an assortment of uh plates and black and then some some of these linkage pieces um just why not um i'm looking for the pieces they're in there okay the reason i placed this order there's another 40th anniversary piece. I already have one of these from, um, I want to, God, I don't remember what set it came in now. <laughs> uh, I have one of my own, but now I have more. These pieces, and I've seen these used in a couple Akiyuki modules. Uh, these are handles for like, uh, you know, like a, a crank or something. Um, I actually have a Technic set that was supposed to come with six of these, I think it was. And none of them uh, were there. <laughs> I got the set used on eBay years ago. But um, so now I, I, I bought a bunch of these just to have them on hand, just in, just in case it came up. Or if I wanted to have a little, uh, you know, crank handle thing, it'd be cool. Um, yeah, just random pieces, um, more black plates. I, I got some of these in green. Maybe I'll do a green module. I have some green gears. Um, yeah, I'm interested in trying to diversify on the colors a bit. Um, so far, there's been a lot of a lot of black, a lot of dark bluish gray, but and then like red and blues as accent uh, and yellow. But just trying to expand that out a little bit. Uh, I got another one of these guys, and I was asked uh, recently, "Is this official Lego?" Yeah, it is. It was in a few sets, um, and it it carries GBC balls pretty well. Maybe not as steep as you can get with uh, with the tracks and everything, but. 
you know, just a, a short conveyor, at maybe at that angle, um, it, it can be useful. Um, we have another one of these. This one does not have the spring, but they had it. I thought it might come in handy one day. Um, and some of these longer linkage pieces. You just throw stuff in there. I don't know. <laughs> that was a pretty random order, uh, but the, the others are, are more for, ah, for specific things. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, so this is the rest of my Lego order. Um, it's kind of a strange box. Okay. Um, I imagine there's going to be paperwork, which I will <laughs> set to the side because uh, it probably has my address and stuff on it. I um, ordered a bunch of these uh, in a few different colors because I thought they'd be very useful and just to, to prototype things or, or to build on as a as a platform or something. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought these were cool to pick up. They're a few dollars each, but um, I just, yeah, I had to get these. Uh, <laughs> so I did. Um, here's the rest of the pieces. So we got some cool stuff in here. I don't even remember putting that in there. I probably would have ordered more than one. <laughs> I probably, I do that. I'll put one of each thing in the cart and then I'll go through with the um, quantities later. So one of those for some dumb reason. Um, <laughs> this is going to be hard not to make a mess here. Um, I don't have any of these gears. Um, I thought these kind of went together. No, they, I guess I don't. Um, but yeah, these are, these are cool and they're used quite a bit in GBC. Uh, a lot of modules use a ton of them, so I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot with just four, but just to, to play around with. And then some of the smaller ones. Um, if I can get it to focus, um, I think I got four of those. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a couple more official Lego long pneumatic cylinders. I have some of the third party versions of this. It just doesn't want to focus today. Um, but I got two of those. Um, I only have one, I think from a set that I bought years ago. Um, they're not as expensive as they used to be on BrickLink because now they're in a more recent set. And then these are the new color for the long, large pneumatic cylinders. I, I, yeah, why not? Um, the rest of this is cable holders, gears, um, shock absorbers. Um, this is when I was doing more uh, RC stuff. So these were parts I didn't have or, or wanted more of. Um, so they're just kind of... A bunch of different stuff in here. Oh, yeah. I probably should have ordered more of these. I don't have that many of the five length ones. Um, so that's pretty much it there. Um, I just kind of went through and ordered uh, parts I saw, Technic parts I saw on, on the website that I didn't have already. Um, or I, I like to cross reference prices between Lego and uh, Bricklink just to make sure I'm getting the best deal. All right, so this is one I'm very excited about. Um, this will enable me to start building a GBC module today. And good lord, look at all of it. <laughs> this is one of those orders like you feel bad placing because like, look at all these parts. Uh, but I didn't have uh, near enough tan parts <laughs> uh, to build what I want to build. So we are going to be building pinwheels uh sloped reservoir something another i i will uh <laughs> i'll show you what what i'm talking about and there was a ton of tan pieces which i don't have i think there's 96 <laughs> of those and i probably could have used some longer ones instead of a, a bunch of shorter ones i'm not sure how common those parts are in tan but i like the look of it his build it almost looks you know like it's brick built or something like actual brick like just the the way they overlap and it just looks so cool and i love i like the color scheme too like i said i'm trying to diversify on colors um and yeah i have a lot of these in like red from pick a brick walls but i didn't want just a solid red block uh <laughs> as a module so i i went ahead and and found a store that had every bit every piece i needed uh for the tan there's dark tan as well um they also had these, um, these big uh, 
tile pieces, I guess. Um, uh, these were in the Galaxy Explorer in black, but I, I didn't have any in dark gray, so I bought five of these, even though I, I think I need three for the module. Um, so I got every single piece I needed for that, uh, plus these here. Uh, that's the, the only other parts I needed besides tan. <laughs> um, so I'm very much looking forward to build that. Um, all these red pieces were extra pieces I ordered. This is a very critical piece to, uh, this is also a pinwheel module, the reveal ball pump, I believe it's called. And I just kind of built something to replace this. It is not going to work well. <laughs> uh, so I'm glad to get some of these in my inventory. It only needs one, but I ordered, I think five. Um, wow. That red piece is way off in color. And I lost it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have many of these connector pieces in red, so I pretty much bought all they had um, for a lot of these. Um, and some tiles. So there's one by sixes, one by eights. I don't, I didn't have many in red, and I was using a lot, so ordered those. So I'm gonna throw all these in the box here. I'm really anxious to get this built. The idea of it will be. The reservoir will be the start and, and end of the of the GBC layout. So when I'm done, I can leave all the modules on and let them all empty into the reservoir and leave the reservoir off. Um, you know, whenever I I'm done filming or I want to make changes to the layout or anything like that, I can just stop the reservoir and then all the balls will kind of be stored there in the meantime. And I also got some pick a brick cups. So let me go grab those. We'll go through those real quick and that'll be pretty much it this week. All right, so I got really lucky at the Lego store <laughs> and uh, was hitting up the pick a brick wall and found some really useful pieces. Um, this doesn't always happen, but uh, it did this time. So these I've actually never seen in a pick a brick wall. And again, I, like I said, I used a lot of these. I think I've paid up to 20 cent each for these or maybe not that quite that much, but they were in a mixed bin. Um, I, I took a picture of it just to show you what I mean. So I, they just have a couple bins that are just totally random mixed pieces. And it was funny because I was <laughs> started going through and picking these out. Um, and I asked her if the, uh, if the containers like pulled out like a drawer, if I could go in from the top and try to dig all these out because of the back was kind of killing me. Uh, she said, uh, no, they didn't. And <laughs> She she had just mixed these in <laughs> to there, so I, I felt kind of bad for that. And, and but she helped me <laughs> grab as many as we could. Um, so there's a bunch there, and there's some in the bottom of uh, this one. So I got an absolute ton of them. Um, so shout out to her for being so helpful. Like the, all the people at my Lego store are really cool. Um, I don't know if their schedules kind of change week to week or if they have a fairly high turnover because I feel like I've met a lot of people there. Um, so I'm not sure what that means, but anybody I have met has been very helpful, friendly, awesome. Um, so yeah, these are used quite a bit in GBC. So I got a bunch of those. Those are fairly, I've seen those before in the picker brick. Um, two by two white tiles. That was the only tile they had on the entire wall, but it's something. Um, so I guess I picked up probably way more than I need. Um, these are two by six uh, bricks. Good Lord, I guess all three cups have these in there. <laughs> How many did I get? Uh, so two by two white tiles and I got some of the, the white um, cloud pieces. Uh, those are kind of cool. I thought I might could do something interesting with that. Uh, these are one by three red. Oh, look at that big open space there. I hate when I do that, but I do it all the time. I get in a hurry. I don't have time to really worry about it that much. Um, and these, I thought these could be interesting. Um, you know, like the ramp I showed earlier, this is a little bigger and a little more curved. Um, so maybe these could be used as platforms and an elevator. Um, I don't know. I don't, I haven't, I don't know if I've seen these used, but I thought they could be handy. Um, cause eventually I'd like to make some modules on my own, but I am really having a blast building modules from other people. If you saw my video Sunday, that's like my favorite video I've done in a very long time. <laughs> and I absolutely couldn't have done it without all the builders that provided instructions on Rebrickable. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. 
Um, each of the builds has their instructions linked and from that link you can see a video from the creator and if you click view on YouTube uh, you can go and you can subscribe to them so any modules they do build in the future you'll be able to check them out. I'm a huge fan of Pinwheel's modules I've already built a couple and it's kind of funny he was one of the first people I really talked to about GBC and that was I think on Twitch is where we first kind of met uh, digitally <laughs> but I, I love his builds they're full of imagination they're just really cool so I would definitely uh, encourage you to subscribe to him when he when he does build build a new module they're always very really cool so that's it for today we'll have another haul video fairly soon and I'm hoping to get into my backlog because I've got some some old use technic stuff and and more uh, Dact and education stuff, you know, those kind of things. That's really what I like to do more than anything. So I'm trying to get this kind of stuff out of the way so we can get to that. So that should be coming soon. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.